This project is a collaboration between Bristol-based energy project Demand Energy Equality and a Bristol-based local food project, Edible Futures. We propose to make a solar tree structure to power a rain-fed irrigation system at a community nursery in Bristol. We want to run this project because there is an urgent need to engage and excite people about local food and local energy. Food and energy bills are a growing problem for many. Resilient communities require not just renewable energy and local food, but also an understanding of how food and energy are grown and produced. Here's Daniel Quiggin talking about the Demand Energy Equality workshops. At Demand Energy Equality, we have two goals. The first is to enable low-income households to afford solar panels, helping to address the increasing divergence between those who can afford the benefits of renewable power. The second is to increase the likelihood that those who own and interact with solar panels also reduce their demand for energy. Without massive reductions in the demand for energy, the twin problems of averting climate change and access to affordable energy are unsolvable. These goals are achieved by running DIY solar panel workshops using recycled materials such as old glass windows and industrial solar cell waste. Demand Energy Equality will be working in partnership with Edible Futures. Here's Humphrey Lloyd introducing the Edible Futures project. The urban food movement is a vital step towards creating a sustainable and low-carbon society. At Edible Futures, we've taken inspiration from the Cuban food revolution of the 1990s to create our very own edible perennial nursery here in Bristol. This nursery fuels community gardens and growing projects across the city by propagating thousands of edible perennial plants each year. In Bristol today, plant nurseries, like many other aspects of our society, are becoming increasingly industrial, carbon intensive and also concentrated into fewer and fewer hands. At Edible Futures, we believe in trying to reverse this unsustainable trend. That's why we're not only practicing organic agricultural practices, but also we are teaching people how to propagate their own plants and set up their own nurseries. These people in turn will leave our project with the power to set up their own nurseries that will create the plants that will feed the generations of the future. This project will see the installation of a rain-fed irrigation system at the Edible Futures Nursery. We will also see this irrigation system powered by the solar tree created through the Demand Energy Equality workshops. The proposed solar tree would be built under the same workshop model used by Demand Energy Equality, where the local community, particularly low-income households, will come together to help construct the solar panel leaves of the tree. John Packer has designed these drawings of the solar tree based on fractals. This design is based on the way trees have evolved to capture energy efficiently throughout the year. Installing the solar tree at the nursery will give people a tangible understanding of how energy relates to food production. This will be achieved during the workshop when we power the rain-fed irrigation system with the solar tree, leading to an all-round sustainable local food project. We believe the novelty of building a solar tree will be a great way to excite people about sustainability, get them learning and get them talking. Through People Fund It, we are asking you to pledge money in order to make this innovative project a reality. Your contributions will enable the educational DIY workshops that will lead to the solar tree being built and the irrigation system being powered. The pledged money will also pay for John Packer's time and skills invested in creating the metal structure of the tree. We hope you think our project is worth funding and believe like we do in the potential of this project to excite, empower and engage. Aside from its practical function, this solar tree will spark discussions about the roles food and energy play in our transition to a low-carbon future.